Okay. So right now, it's 87 degree with 51% humidity in my house. The reason why both Sancho air unit die so that means the two units we have is a uh, 18 years old I think it was from 2006 so 18 years old they put it in at the same time to build the house uh, 2022 one of the motor fan died and the other one got like the batch capacitor I replaced those I replaced the contactor I also uh, yeah, so I changed the contactor, the fan motors, and the contactor on both units. And both of them last for like another two years, but now die. One will not power on. And the other one is leaks. I refill, add more refrigerant for one of the units that leaks, but it's not holding. I mean, it's one day and the refrigerant. It's blowing, it turned on, it's blowing air out of the vents. But the vent temperature, the air, the, air temp, the air temperature from the vent, it's 88. And I set it at like 77. So it's not going to work. So I decided just to buy two more units. Asked for a multiple coat. Tour Brazil won 24K for two, th for two units. Uh, air Times won at 18K. Car Costco used the, uh, you know, the Lenox service. The air Conditioning service system to Costco, they wanted 25k with discounts and all that down to 20. So the one that uh, got the uh, agreement, the the approval is Airtime. So they, but the thing is, they they say that because of the temperature is is like the end of July, so they can't work on it until like three weeks from now. So we got no AC, and you could see I have an evaporate cooler from my other video. It's not helping much. And they have a portable air conditioner. I have two. I have the other air conditioner. This is a 9,000 BTU down, downstairs. The other one is upstairs for a family member. It's in her room. It's cooled down. A small room is fine. It's like 250 square feet. This is also like two, 250 square feet, but this is too large. My house is like 2,400 square feet. So I need this. I got this from Costco. The dang thing was on sale for 280 last month, and I didn't buy it. Now I have to buy it at 360, so it's 80 dollars more. But it's Costco. Hey, if it's on sale again next month, could always buy it and then use the old receipt to return the new box. So this, pretty much, gonna buy it for two or three weeks. Let's see if we're gonna need it. If we don't need it anymore, I have to remove it from the windows, and then just. I don't know, am I going to return it or just keep it? I don't know. So yes, this is the Media 12,000 BTU. It says right here, it high efficiencies inverter. And it's a U shape. So instead of like, so basically this thing is go all the way down. But the thing is, I have horizontal sliding windows. It's going to be suck as fuck. Excuse the language. But, uh, so I'm thinking like, should I install it upstairs in a small room or here? Because this is larger, it's a living room plus kitchen. I need a larger one. But seeing this is sliding horizontally, it means if I put it in, how, I, how am I going to... That means I have to find a large piece of plywood and just put it from the top down. I think that's pretty much what I end up having, it's going to have to do. This is one, so yeah, I need to set, make, I need to make some modification because it's a U-shape. So basically, it's it works well as for a vertical window. When you put it in, slide the window in, see how the U-shape's right here, and you go all the way down. This, this is why it's also quieter too because it keeps the compressor so, part of the air conditioner on the outside and also better with ceiling as well. Uh, apparently it's controlled with the app, but which I don't care. Uh, it's one year limited warranty. So you, window air conditioner, exclusive U-shaped design. Less noise, less noise, more light, save energy. Number one brand. I'm not sure about that. 
So if the unit is on its side, place the unit upright positions and wait for two hours before starting. This is correct. I bought it in freezer, which is the same, a similar, I mean, pretty much the same thing. If you turn it on its side and not leaving it upright, my freezer is saying you have to leave it on upright for 24 hours. But this one, you only need two hours. But usually to be safe, that's at least two hours what you need. If you tilt it on the side because, I mean, you don't have the spade to carry it. Because I have a hatchback. This thing will not fit in the back. And so, like, I have to make some adjustment and finally push it all the way in, put the seat down on that. But I had to put it on the side, so I had to keep it like this, upright, for at least two hours before using it. So it's right here, window installation instruction. Again, this just an unbox video. I'm not going to do the whole installation thing. Uh, step one, in a double hung window, install a bracket. Double hung. See, see this, this thing is designed for windows that go down, vertical, not horizontal sliding. This, this is why I have to improvise a little bit. I have to buy a piece of plywood, but it cut to size, and then I'm going to do that the sliding. Well, yeah, it's, I want a larger unit here not in the bedroom. Put it in the bedroom is easier. Just bolt some screw, bracket, put it down. But yeah. So improvise a little bit. So the capacity, <coughs> 8,000 BTU is for 350 square feet. So I guess that's pretty much what I have on here. But the thing is the portable air conditioner is, is <coughs> smaller. So this is 12,000 BTU rated up to 550 square feet. Uh, you sure that's pretty much the boxes so that's what it looked like <clears throat> the energy guy for this is $63 so this is actually more efficient than my window <clears throat> my portable unit <clears throat> I have a 9,000 BTU portable it's, it's the one with the wheels that you push around I put it at up, up room upstairs it used $87 and it's only 9,000 BTU this one is 12,000 and the other one is only covered 250 square feet. This one is 550 square feet. So this is providing more cooling power for less money. So let's say ultra quiet operations as low as 30 dB. It's thing short for decibels. The other one is loud. It's loud as heck, even on low. It's probably because the compressor for this one to be outside. Window Freedom, the app, voice control, which I don't need. 35% more efficient, more inverter compared to DOE. No idea what DOE is. Sears requirement, yeah, that's pretty much what they rated for. So smart, work with Alexa, work with Google Home, work with Apple Phone, Energy Star certified. And got a remote controller. So same thing. Dimensions is going to be 19.17 to 21.97 by 13.46. It's 63 pounds. No wonder it's heavy as heck. That's uh, power 1 pH 115 volt to uh, 115 volt slash 60 hertz. Sears 15. Wow, it's Sears 15. Oh yeah, it's the new unit that we're going to do. It's a Sears 15 too. That's the one that they rated us. So my house at the bottom floor have a lot of like open space from the stops. So they're going to put in a 3 ton upstairs and a 3.5 ton down the bottom. 14 shear, uh, shears. Uh, it's a train brand. And it's a uh, single stage. So while waiting, I'm going to need this. So what you need? A flathead screwdriver, pencil, tape measurement, and scissors. Uh, install you here the Finip. Phillips head screwdriver drill 1/8 inch bit level. Window air conditioner. What's inside? You got a window air conditioner LED remote, mounting bracket, mounting screw, foam seal. You probably have to buy a foam seal at all. Home Depot or Walmart. I think Walmart. Yeah. Is it like the big one? I think it's like a three by three foam seal you can put down. That helps seal the any is hole or anything. That's avoiding. Preventing the uh, hot air from the outside from going inside. Got two tri AAA battery for the remote. Well, that's very much what it looks like. And that's it.
unboxing. Remember, this thing was uh, 250, uh, 280 last month from Costco, but I didn't get it for sale. So now I pay 360 for it. But hey, this is Costco. When they have it, when it's on sale again, you could always rebuy it and then return that new item with the old receipt if you want. So they got an instruction manual. Got a looks like a foam piece for the size, but I probably don't need it because I horizontal sliding. So I think I'm gonna put it right next to that. And the remote control, batteries, Duracell, and the electrical cord. This piece. They got some mounting bracket here, I assume. Got some screwed, mounting screwed. I think this is the, oh yeah, I think this is the part where you hang on the window and the other part, so this, this part is supposed to be holding the unit. So this is the bracket. And the unit itself is right here. It's big. This is, no wonder is this 12,000 BTU. Yep, that's a U shape. Man, this kind of sucks. unit that's no bracket how do you grab it pull it out well that's much it u-shape window air unit all right i have to do installations so that's it